So we've floated now 81 miles down the Colorado River to this place, Vishnu Canyon. It's an important canyon for the, because it's the namesake, if you will, for the Vishnu Schist. The Vishnu Schist, which we're looking at, the gray rocks behind me here, are the, uh, the basement rocks of the Grand Canyon. So we've come into our third set of rocks. We came down through the flat-lying Paleozoic rocks across the tilted uh, late Precambrian Grand Canyon supergroup and into the basement. The story of the uh, Precambrian basement in the Grand Canyon is the story of the creation of this part of our continent. These rocks were assembled together by collision of microplates to a growing North American continent. And as we, when we go across to this canyon across the way, we'll be able to look at the, the fabrics of the rock that record the squeezing and the welding together of, of crust to form thickened continents. This, uh, these rocks here, it's an amazing fact, these rocks were metamorphosed. They were, when, during the squeezing and the collisions, they were buried to 25 kilometers deep in the crust, then worn away gradually. There was a mountain range here, we call it the Vishnu Mountains, and these rocks are the guts or the core of that ancient mountain belt. But that mountain belt got worn down, all mountain belts uh, get eroded eventually, and that mountain belt, the Vishnu mountain belt, was worn down to a flat surface such that this part of North America might have looked like the Australian continent does today, fairly low relief. And then you can imagine when a sea would come in over a flat continent, transgress over the, over the continent, you would get flat-lying rocks deposited on the roots or the eroded core of the mountain belt. 